About five years ago, HK Army purchased Pinocchio. The original Pinocchio hoppers looked like this monstrosity. It's just ridiculous. After HK bought Pinocchio, they put their name on the speed and it actually sold pretty well. I mean, mainly just because HK Army was behind it and they were able to get it into stores a little bit easier than Pinocchio was. And now we have a modern version of that speed in the Sonic, but it still has that like weird like sensor thing in the breech. And this modern look that the Sonic has makes it kind of fit in with a lot of the other high-end or mid-range hoppers, and this thing's only $100. That modern design kind of makes the thing come apart really easy. There's just a tab on the back. This top shelf comes off really quickly. It's really secure, and I feel like it's not going to come off. I feel like the top shell, even though it's like really a simple system, it's a really solid like latch. Like it's really secure, so I don't think this top shell will fly off like the Bunker King Control that all also has a similar latch system to this. The control's really loose though, and it's prone to that like top shell coming off. The Sonic feels good and uh, really secure. We can remove the tray really easy. That tray just kind of pops out. And if we look underneath it there, you can see that sensor that I was talking about. When the sensor is in that like kind of up position, the hopper will not feed, nothing's happening. But when we push it down, like a paintball's traveling over, that sensor will go down and they'll know when to feed. Those paddles will start rotating and then, you know, paintballs will feed in the feed tube. This whole system has worked fine. I mean, Pinocchio's been using this and HK Army used it on the speed before. It works, but I don't really like it. I much prefer that like a solid piece that's not moving around. Like I much prefer the IR or the infrared sensor or even the G sensor, that like shock motion sensor that Spires are using. The Sonic is $100 right now. So it's similar in price to that Virtue Spire IR2 or the Die Rotor LTR, but with prices changing so much, it's kind of hard to keep track. So I'm going to continually update the new prices in the description of this video. There is a bit of a problem with this sensor though. If you shoot the hopper completely dry, like completely out of paintballs, it won't feed. You either have to power the hopper on, or, you know, you have to dump your paintballs in and hope they find their way down that hole. Most of the time, they will find their way down that feed tube and the sensor will activate and then the hopper will start feeding. But there are those times when the paddle's lined up just right and the paintballs can't feed in that tube. And, you know, in that situation, you do have to power the hopper on and off. It's a bit of a problem, so either, like, you know, don't shoot your hopper dry or just kind of be aware of it. I think that it's possible to fix this in software. You know, there's other hoppers that, you know, you shoot the thing dry and it continues to feed. The spires do that pulsing thing. The rotor just spins forever. You could either do both those things, right? So I think that it's possible to maybe fix this in updates, but right now it just works like that. A nine volt powers the whole thing. A single nine volt goes underneath and then you actually power the thing on also underneath. The power button is located on the bottom side of the hopper, also similar to that Bunker King control. I don't really like this. I much prefer the button on the back just so I can press it on the back of the hopper. And then I also prefer that LED to be on the back as well. I don't really like the way the spires have the LEDs on the side. I prefer the back one, not like underneath where you can't really see it. A thing I really like is how the Sonic is kind of taking maybe the new universal style speed feeds. The Sonic will take any speed feed that spits on any of the Spire hoppers or the Bunker King hoppers. So it's kind of universal. That means you can get speed feeds, really not from a lot of people. You can get the Virtue ones, Bunker King ones, or HK ones. And it just provides, you know, a lot of variety. You could go with like those Evo metal speed feeds. You can get the SF2, those old classic Virtue ones. Or there's the Enter one from Bunker King. There's some options for speed feeds on this. I like that. It's quick removable. The rate of fire of the Sonic, or I should probably say balls per second, like feed rate of the Sonic, is going to be on par with a lot of the other mid-range or high-end hoppers. Really with the exception of the die rotor that R2 or the LTR, the rotors are a force fed hopper. So they like grab paintballs and continually apply force even when you're not shooting. So they kind of like really feed them out and rocket them out really fast. Whereas the Sonic is kind of using a more traditional paddle style that we've seen on hoppers like that JT Revolution, or it's even kind of similar to the Spires. So it's not gonna have wild high rates of fire like the die rotors. So I wanted to test this out. I grabbed a die rotor LTR, a Spire IR2, my personal Spire 4. The JT Revolution and this Sonic put 180 paintballs inside of them and uh, did a not-so-scientific drop test. 
and the rotor is so much faster in this test I actually thought I was doing it wrong and I like went back and looked at the math and I'm like no that's right but I'm like man the rotor is so fast it was just kind of blew me away I've never done one of these tests I've never timed it you know I've watched the rotor feed and I've like watched another hopper feed but I've never like compared the times so I was blown away at just how fast the rotor is and those speeds are insane right the balls per second on the screen is just wild you're never going to get that in real life to get any paintball gun to shoot over 20 balls a second is really a feat it's really difficult just to get paint down and forward and out the gun that fast so you're not going to see 40 balls a second or anything crazy like that and yeah that rotor feeds fast but one of the drawbacks of that die rotor and all those in internal spinning parts is they can jam easily where a hopper like this sonic or the spires just don't have a lot moving around in there so it's going to be much more difficult to jam so it's definitely a drawback of that really high rate of fire is a likelihood or more likelihood of jamming but it is a brick no! And the HK Army Sonic is the lightest hopper that I have ever held. Coming in at just 11.8 ounces compared to the LTRs over a pound at 16.8 ounces, the Sonic is nearly 31% lighter than the LTR. I mean, it's crazy. When you pick these things up and you hold it, it is noticeable just how much lighter the Sonic is, or really than all the other electronic hoppers. I have this actual chart with all the different hoppers and weights and stuff like that. It's kind of cool if you want to like compare some hoppers. There's a link in the description to that chart. You know, check it out if you want to see hopper weights. And the die rotor really kind of packs all of that extra weight everywhere though. It's just built really, really well. Everything's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit nicer. It's really built to last. It's built to outlast the last of us. And while that Sonic really only a few dollars more than the LTR you really can feel the quality difference the rotor is gonna have like nicer higher quality shells the internals are a little bit nicer I mean the thing's really built to last like a hundred years it's probably overbuilt I mean that's why it's kind of so heavy but it's gonna keep working I mean in a hundred years your rotor is still gonna work whereas you know the Sonic you probably can't say that but the Sonic I really do man like if I used it I'd probably get like five, six years easy out of the thing. And something that's $100 that really performs well, you can take it apart easy. The only thing that I don't like is that little like, you know, sensory thing. But I think at $100, this thing's an excellent hopper. It makes very good competition for the die rotor LTRs and the Virtue Spire IR2. So I think if you're in the market for like a good, quick feeding, very lightweight hopper, this HK Army Sonic is a fantastic replacement to the speed and a fantastic option in that mid-range price.